Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chung here. So let's take a look at, at today's daily challenge problem number 117, populating next right pointers in each node number two. I believe I have done videos uh, for for this for the number one problem, you know, and so this this problem is exactly the same except for uh, except for the uh, the tree is not a complete tree, which means that you know a node could only has could only have uh, only left child or or right child. So for the uh, for the problem number one, right? I think the tree is guaranteed to be a complete tree. So that's why that one is a little bit easier than this one, right? So let's take a look at the description. You basically you're given like a, a binary tree here, and you need to populate the next pointer. Basically, you know the as you guys can see here. So the next pointer is um, from the on the same levels, right? So you need to create the next pointer from the left point, from the left node to the right node, and so on and so forth, right? And and here there is like a, a follow-up question, right? You may only you may only use a constant extra space, right? So I'm gonna basically I'm gonna I'll be talking about two solutions today. So the first one is of course the level, the level order traverse, right? So for the, the level order traverse is the most straightforward one, basically. Uh, but for the level traverse one, you have to use some extra space, right, to store the nodes on each levels. That's why that's why. We, that's when the, where this follow-up comes from. Can you solve this problem without using the level of the traverse? Right. So for that one, we're gonna need the uh, a little bit of a little bit of the the handling for on on the current level and next levels. But you know, first thing first, you know, let's try to uh, quickly implement the level of the traverse. Right. So that we can have a starting point here. So basically for the level auto traverse, this thing works for both the number two for this problem and also the number one. I mean, so the level auto traverse is pretty straightforward, right? I mean, we just use the, uh, the queue, right? We use a queue and then we just uh, populate the root and then we have a while queue and then we have a four, right? In this length of the queue <clears throat> so we have, we have a current, right? The current is the uh, the Q dot uh, pop left, right? And we we also need the pre because since we're going to establish a pointer from the previous from this one to the next one, that's why we're gonna need a pre, right? And basically, if the pre and then every time when we have a current one, we update the pre to, to the current one, right? So, and if the pre is not empty, right, then we do a pre dot next equals to current one, right? So that's that. And then we just need to finish the, uh, the level of the traverse that we're, where it's going to be at the, uh, where is the left, the current left is not empty, right? We add it into the, into the queue, right? Append current dot left, right? And then same thing for the right one. Uh, Q dot append current dot right right so yep I think that's pretty much it so in the end we simply return the root and this should just work yeah okay submit yeah so this one passed right and yeah as you guys can see here right so we're using extra space to store the uh, the nodes for each of the levels right that's why uh, it asks us, ask us to come up to think about if we can solve this problem without using an extra space. So, right, how do we solve this one without using the extra space? Similar idea for the with for the first one for the first for the uh, comparing with the first uh, the number one problem, right? Basically, you know, we um, mm, on the current levels. Right. So assuming we are on the current levels, we are going to populate the next levels on the, on the current level because you know we're assuming that you know, let's say we are at the at the, at this level here. You know, we already have the next pointer for the current levels here. 
right? So that's why, you know, for the current levels here, we can use the current level plus the next pointers for the current levels, and we can traverse from the left to right. And while we're traversing the current levels from left to right, we're also going to populate the, uh, the next levels. Basically, we're populating the next pointers from the current level to the, ne to the next level. But the only difference is here, like the, uh, you know, since the, on the next levels, right, there could be a, a, like, let's say, for example, here, after the right one, after the, the right, uh, after this point uh, node here, we don't have a left node on the next level, on the, on the next, uh, on three here, we only have seven here. That's why we have, basically, we also need to use, like, the similar idea as this level, other traverse, you know, every time we're at the current levels, we, after processing the, uh, a node here, right? We're updating the precursor here, uh, <coughs> the pre variables here, and then every time when we add three here, we check if there's a left level, if there's a left node here. If if there is, and then of course we need to establish a, a pointer from the uh, from the previous one to the next one. Else, if there's a node, there's not a left one. Of course, we're gonna go to the go to the right one, and if the right one is there, and we all, we are also gonna I established the pointer from the previous one to the to the right one, right? And then, uh, and then we're gonna do the traverse same same thing by level by level, right? And at the beginning we're at this level, and the next we're at the, we're at two here, and second we're and then we're at four here. So and then we also that's why we need to basically maintain a leftmost. Uh, leftmost uh, variable here, you know, that's going to be our starting point f for each levels. And every time we're when we're at the current levels, we are trying to find the leftmost for the next level. Until we couldn't find an another levels, then that's when we're going to stop our our while loop. I know it's a little bit confusing, maybe, but I will try to explain more. Uh, while I'm coding here. So what I mean is that like this, at the beginning, I'm going to have like a le leftmost equals to root, right? So that's the, uh, that's our starting point. And uh, let me try to fin write the, the main structure here. And while leftmost, while the leftmost is not empty, it means that, okay, we need to process we need to process the uh, uh, a next level, right? Otherwise, you know, we in the end we simply return the root. Okay. So and okay. So now we're at a, a level, right? So we're at a level here, and we need to uh, process the the. I mean the node from left to right, right? So that's going to be our current levels. And we because we're going to uh, establish the, the node, the next pointer from current level to the next level, right? So that's why, you know, since we're going to be using the left pointers to, uh, to, to start the next level process, I'm going to create a current one, going to be the, the, the leftmost. Right. So, and then here we have a while current, right? We have a current one, and then in the end, there's a current dot equals to the current dot next. So here we're processing the current level, right? And how are we going to jump to the next level here, right? We need to update this this uh, leftmost. So to, I mean, before doing that, we need to clear this leftmost to be none because otherwise you know we have to if if there's nothing on this current level if the current level doesn't have a next levels then we won't have we, the, the leftmost should be empty but if we don't clear it here i mean this uh the while loop will never be finished right so we process the current level right so that's how we process the current levels here, and of course we uh, we also need a pre here, right? So that's the uh, the three variables we, we're gonna need here, and the first thing first is that you know, um, let's try to find the uh, so 
since either left or right could it might be not might not be exist that's why we need a if the left is not empty and if the right is not empty right so we have to process them separately right that's going to be the the two the two uh, branch here and in each branch uh, so first we have to make sure the the, the leftmost will be updated so that if there is a next levels, the while loop can continue on the next on the next level. So which means that you know we have to first thing first we have to try to find the uh, update the 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 the, the leftmost for the next level, which means that if not leftmost right, we find the leftmost equals to the current left. Same thing for the for the right pointer. Right. So this, okay, so these two lines, I think it's kind of obvious, right? I mean, basically, you know, we try to find the, the leftmost node f for the next levels, right? Which means that, you know, if there's a, like a node, something like this, right? If there, if, if we're at the current levels, at two, three, right? If we're at, at this, uh, this level here, and let's say we have some, let's say the next level is something like, like this, this one and this one. Right, so for that one, we have for the to find the, the starting point for the next levels, we have to find this node. How do we find it? So that's how we find it. As long as this one is not empty, we find the first. Basically, we find the first node that that is not empty, right? And as long as this one is not empty, this one it will never be updated. That's why, since the left is not empty, is it, empty, then we uh, we find the, the right one. Okay, so the right one is. It's not empty. That's why we will find this one. And how about another case, right? Let's say there's nothing on the first node on the current levels, and the the, the only the first one is, is this one, right? Then how are we going to find this one? Same thing, right? Because as you guys can see, so we are looping through from left from the current one to the to the next one. That's why the uh, so there's nothing here, and then when we're at the next one, the next level, which where is three here, uh, we found okay. So the the left one is not empty, right? And then then we'll set up the uh, this one to be the first, the la on the la the leftmost for the next level, and that's how we uh, got calculate the uh, the first the starting point for the next level, right? And that's that. Okay. So and besides to get the besides to initiate the starting point for the next levels, we also need to uh, mm, to process the uh, this one right. So the pre gonna be the current dot left right. Same thing for the right one. That's how we uh, update the uh, the pre the precursor right. So basically every time there's a there's a if this, if we're processing a current node we're gonna update the pre and the rest is just pretty straightforward right if if the pre is not empty similar like the, the row levels right we do a pre dot dot next equals to the current dot left which is gonna be the the next the next level right same thing for the for the right for the right side if the pre is not empty then pre dot next will be the current dot right Right, so in, I mean it's pretty. I think so. To go through of the one of the examples here, let's say we are at a number number two here, right? And we're assuming that so we already have a, a pointers pointing from two to three. Now we're at two here. We're at two. So first we find four is going to be the next level, that leftmost uh, node here. And okay, so we find the four here, and then it, okay, so so the leftmost will be four. But the pre uh, but pre is um, is not at this at the moment. That's why we're not we're not gonna gonna do this. So and that's why the uh, so now after this this if if the uh, if check here. So the pre will be equals to will equal to four here, right? And then we check the right one. So on um, when on the right the right one is five, and we already have the left most. That's why we're gonna skip this part. And now the pre is already populated, which is four. Then we establish a pointer from 
from four to from four to five, right? That's how we are going to be the four to to five. The current right is five. Now the pre becomes to five, right? So now this pre is five, and then we move the current current cursor from two to three, right? And then again we'll be checking. Okay, so is three that's three has a left no it doesn't it does not have a left that's why we're going to skip this part and then we'll come to the right part so three ha three has a right node has a right child that's why the uh the pre uh, so at this moment the pre is five right so that's gonna that's why we're gonna that's gonna how we pre establish the pointer from five to seven Yeah. So, and that okay. Then it then it's done, right? So now the uh, the leftmost will be four, right? So on the four here, so we'll go through this again, right? So which means the uh, uh the four, but you know at the current level there's nothing on the next levels. That's why we're gonna we're still going to go through this while loop here because you know the uh. The kernel will, will uh, the kernel will be four, right? The pre is empty, and then we from four because none of them there's not nothing to be here, right? We, which means that we're going to loop just loop through from four to five, from five to seven, and we're never going to uh, populate this leftmost, the new leftmost. That's why uh, after fi after finishing pro finish processing the current levels, the leftmost will become too empty, the none, and then we'll the whole while loop will stop, right? And then, yep, yeah, and then that's it, right? So in the end, we return the, the root here. So, okay, let's run the code. Yeah, so accept it. All right, so that, yeah, there, there you go. I mean, the, uh, as you guys can see here, right? I mean, so for this one, we don't use any of the extra space here. All we have is like the, you can call it the level traverse, right? While uh, maintaining like a pre, a pre cursors plus the uh, the leftmost cursor, right? That's the only two uh, additional variables we are creating here. And other than that, there you have it. It's all one space complexity, right? Cool. I think that's it for this problem. And thank you so much uh, to watch this video and stay tuned. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.